Ah, welcome ladies and gents. Another bomb for Rachel Zegler. She has never starred in a movie that has been successful. Did you know that? Every single movie she's starred in has been a failure. And this is another one. So The Hunger Games, Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes... Uh, it's looking like a 44 to 46 million dollar opening. If it's 46 million dollars, it's on par with the Marvels. If it's less, it's worse than the Marvels. The only reason this is not as horrendous as the Marvels is the budget was supposedly, and I don't believe this, it was supposedly around 100 million dollars. I, I just, I, I can't believe that based on what we see in the trailer. It looks significantly higher budget. And we know these budgets are just sky high so I, I, I just I just don't bit I don't believe it but this is atrocious real bad for Rachel Zegler and her future career I mean this will be a bomb the next movie she stars in Snow White that'll be a bomb because you know she's been a repugnant asshole so yeah why she keep getting hired she's not exactly a drawer is she I mean literally every movie she starred in has been a bomb but anyway look, I digress so take a look. Hunger Games over on the Rotten Tomatoes uh, is not appealing to anyone by the looks of it. So you can see it here. 90%. 250 verified uh, ratings. That's terrible. 90% is great. But remember, Morbius had a high rating. <laughs> Morbius, yeah. Uh, 61%. 163 reviews. I think it will change actually as well, by the way, uh, when you go to like top critics or whatever they want to call it. Let's have a look. Uh, so if we go to top critics, yeah, 53%. So rotten. If we go to all audience, 84%. So yeah, bad, bad. Uh, the cinema score is actually real bad as well. B plus. That's not good. That's that. That's not good at all. Yeah, not great. Especially when Trolls Band Together got an A. Yeah, not very good. In fact, it's only a little bit better than the Marvels, which got a B. Five Nights at Freddy's got an A minus. So that's saying something. So that's bad. Not good. So let's take a look at the numbers because they uh, they don't lie. It's just numbers, isn't it, really? They don't really care. they got they got no dog in this fight, as it were. But they are fascinating stuff. So, we have projected for the weekend now. Um, but bear in mind, it could be significantly worse than what they're suggesting here. Could be better. Doubtful. It's likely to be worse. So, Saturday AM update for The Hunger Games, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. Uh, it came in at $19.1 million on Friday. Though right in the range of where we saw it yesterday, the Suzanne Collins prequel is uh, yeah likely to go under $50 million. Our projection with 44 to $46 million per industry estimates. Now that is bad. That is very bad. They do, again, I don't believe this, but they note here, look. That after the Marvels posted a franchise low for the Marvel Cinematic Universe of $46.1 million, is Songbirds and Snakes also a misfire? Not necessarily, because they say at $100 million, and then they go plus production cost. I think it's going to be a little bit high. I think it's going to be a little bit higher than just $100 million. Based on everything we've seen, it looks higher, doesn't it? You're going to tell me that's $100 million? I don't believe it. I just don't. But they say 65% of which is funded by foreign sales, with another 20 million in German tax credit. So, looking at it, I guess maybe that's how they've gotten around it. So, 65% is funded by foreign sales. So, maybe, maybe that's how. They got some tax credits, 20 million dollars in tax credits. Because I guess they filmed there. Similar to how they do it in the UK, they film in the UK and get... You know, pretty big tax breaks here, but $100 million, $100 million, yeah, I'm not seeing it. But anyway, the Lionsgate Francis Lawrence directed movie is structured completely differently financially than the $200 million plus The Marvels. Lionsgate has largely covered their nut and exposure, while in standard fashion giving up any upside in foreign. 
So that's how they're not horrendous. But Deadline do say that the challenge for Lionsgate is launching this movie all along, uh, aside from Actors Strike. Yeah, the Collins novel wasn't big. The others were bigger. This is not really a big one. Hit during COVID, only a 3.5 million novel sold, this particular one. Not great, just not good. And they say this, you know, the bigger question going forward is whether or not this is enough to keep a franchise going. No one really cares about this franchise now. The interest isn't there. Uh, and that's very clear as day when we look at the Rotten Tomatoes score. 90%, 90% but from very little people. It's not got broad appeal anymore. This was a, you know, this sort of interest in these young adult films were in a... A microcosm. People just weren't... They, they're just not interested in it anymore. At all. They just don't care. They're not interested. But they say this. This is to be expected. Someone says. Several distribution sources are telling them. Eh. I don't think so. Well, I think it's to be expected. But I think it's because people just don't care. They say... If each major foreign partner fares well in their territories with the movie... They'll definitely buy into another Hunger Games installment, no question about it. So apparently there might be another one. This isn't so much about expanding the franchise as rebuilding it. Really? They're trying to rebuild it? I wouldn't. I think it's dead. But, you know, they're going to suggest that this is a, as, is a success, sorry. Simply because of the foreign sales as opposed to anything, you know, up front anywhere else. I mean, it literally is called the lowest cinema score for any Hunger Games film so I mean that's not good either at all now it's funny women under 25 biggest demo apparently uh, yeah not great <clears throat> not great at all I mean I think what's funny about this is it is literally Rachel Zegler another bomb another one as the meme goes. Yeah, not good. This should not re reignite a franchise. She should just go. She's not a draw. She's not a lead star. No one cares about watching Rachel Zegler. She's just not Hollywood. You know? She's weird. Weird, you might say. <laughs> but anyway, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Uh, we'll kind of recap this uh, potentially tomorrow. Sunday, potentially Monday. We'll see how it goes. Um, be interesting to see when the final numbers come in. But this is just another bomb. People need to stop thinking she's a leading lady because she's just not. Cheers. Take care. Bye-bye now.